Hey, hey, I'm Shay Keister, and I'm your host for the Casual Cattle Conversations podcast, the beef producer's place to explore new management practices. Thanks for tuning in, and welcome to the community. Hey, folks, I want to share a quick message from our friends at Top Dollar Angus. You are investing in bulls that are in the top 25% for growth and carcass traits. Come sale day, are your calves promoted and bringing top dollar for those genetic investments? If the answer is no, Top Dollar Angus can help you out. They can verify and promote your calves as being in the top 25% genetically for feeding traits, traits that feeders pay premiums for. To learn more, call General Manager Nate Smith at 620 546 Four eight three nine, or find Top Dollar Angus on Facebook. Hey folks, it's Shay here, and thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me by listening to Casual Cattle Conversations. I really do appreciate you. Today we are going to be talking about cattle marketing, and I'm going to be sharing some information and tips that were shared by experts on the Rancher Mind call for quarter three. If you are unfamiliar with Rancher Minds, those are Q&A discussions between industry experts and cattle producers. I host them once a month. Each quarter has a different topic. So quarter three for 2023 was cattle marketing. And so at the time of recording this, we are through two of the three calls. The first call was about social media marketing and website marketing and really just what does it mean and how can we market our cattle in an online world? And the second call was about value added programs. So this is going to be a quick episode, but I really want to go through and share some of this information so that you guys, well, two things. One, you get some of these amazing tips and you can get the wheels rolling in your head about how you can understand where to start with online marketing, learn what questions to ask yourself before diving into value-added programs and become inspired to think through your current cattle marketing strategies. But the second part of this is I want you guys to get familiar with the Rancher Mind program and what kind of conversations we have and what information is shared. So with that, let's dive into the episode. So first of all, we're going to talk about what was shared in regards to marketing marketing cattle in an online world. And so first and foremost, when we're looking at anything business-wise, anything online, we need to know who our target audience is. So really think about what your cattle are right now and what value they can provide to someone. And so that's important because when we're thinking about who's going to buy your cattle, think about who would want to buy your cattle. Why should someone want to buy your cattle? And you need to understand that why you're raising cattle, what your cattle have to offer, all of that information before you can dive into the rest of your marketing strategy. Because otherwise, you're going to be kind of all over the place and not really have much direction. And so this is just important, whether you're selling commercial cattle, whether you're selling seed stock cattle, whatever it may be, you need to understand who would want to buy your cattle and who are you trying to market. And maybe if those don't align, how can you change what you're doing so that they do align? So when we're talking about the social media side of things, let's go back to that target audience or ideal customer standpoint. A lot of times it can be overwhelming because you may feel like, oh, you need to be on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and all these different platforms. And that's not true. You need to know which platform your ideal customer is on and that's where you need to spend your time. And so that's the easiest thing. And do one platform at a time. And for that matter, if you try two and you just can't handle it, go back to the one. Be really good at at least one platform. That's what I say. So, and once once you pick that platform, be sure that you are sharing on both your personal page and your ranch page, because this really is going to tie into your personal brand. But It's important that the algorithm sees that you are active on both pages. If you're only active on your business page, your posts aren't going to do as well as if you're active on both pages. And for that matter, people are going to see stuff from you that you post on your personal account more than your ranch account anyways. And you really need to be sharing year round to help build trust and show what you are doing. Just posting before you sell calves, just posting before your bull sale, that's not effective. People want to know who you are. They want to trust you. They want to know what values you stand for, and they want to feel like they're along for the ride with you. So think about posting about calving, checking summer pastures, your mineral program, weaning, um, sale day, whatever it may be, 
whether it's you had a family event or you had a litter of puppies or um, you got a new horse, talk about it, post about it, be real, be a real person. And so that's the social media side. Now, when we're talking about the website side, Allie Robbins shared, I should talk about our guest quick. So our social media expert on the call was Tracy Keister. She is Cal Camp Promotions, and she does a lot of great work for um, cattle producers, helping them understand how to use social media to market their cattle. And then Allie Robbins is the founder of Snowy Mountain Marketing. And so she's helped people with websites. She's helped entrepreneurs build small businesses in general. She really loves people who are, loves to help people who are building businesses in rural areas. And so she talked about the website side of things and that's what we're going to dive into now. So Allie made a great point and she said, websites need to answer three questions. Who are you? what do you sell and how does someone buy? And so those are three really important, but really simple questions. And that's something that's really important with websites. It needs to be simple. It can't be overwhelming. And the other aspect of websites is looking at your keywords and making sure. So when you're thinking about keywords, think about what that your ideal customer would be typing into Google. If they don't know who you are, but they want to find what you have to offer, what are they going to search in Google? And those are the keywords that you need to include on your website. And I will say, as someone who built my own website, it was fine, but it got much better once I hired someone else to fix all my mistakes. So hiring someone to do your website, do SEO optimization, totally worth it. So those are the website tips. Keep it simple and be sure you're expressing who are you, what do you sell, and how do you buy. Now, you may be saying, well, does all this online stuff really matter? And yes, it does, because it all goes back to your personal and business branding, which is super, super important. I cannot stress that enough. So first of all, you are more than just a rancher. This is a business. You see other businesses with Facebook pages, Instagram pages, websites, whatever it may be, yours is no different. And also when I say you are more than just a rancher, think about that from the personal branding standpoint, you might be a father, a mother, a grandfather, a grandmother, an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, a sibling, whatever, whatever you are, however your family dynamic is, whatever leadership positions you hold in your community, in the state, in the nation, whatever it may be, you need to be sharing and talking about those. So people know more about who you do, even talk about other hobbies you may have. It's all important. The other aspect of it is you might be thinking about this right now for cattle. Cattle might be on your brain about how you can make this all work for them. But what if you end up selling dogs, horses, or have another business someday? This is a great way for you to have another avenue to start marketing that. And overall, people really just want to know and need to know what your values are and who you are. Yes, the business side of it is important, but people want to feel like they're buying from a person. And so that really matters. Okay, so before we dive into the value added tips, I want to let you guys know that I am running a discount for quarter four Rancher Mind. So quarter four is going to be all about strategic planning, cleaning up business finances, really the whole business side of ranching. We're going to look at it, um, alternative funding, getting alternative revenue sources for your ranch. And so I'm going to run a discount. This is exclusive for my podcast listeners. And so you can access quarter four for $150. And that code is going to be rancher four. Again, that's rancher four. And you can access quarter four for $150, which is $50 off. And so you get access to three Q and a calls plus two live podcasts. And, um, it's really going to be a great experience. I'm super excited. So there's more information about that in the show notes. So with that, let's talk about the value added programs. So for the value added programs, our expert was Elliot Dennis out of the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, go big red. And he talked about, he really helped cattle producers understand where they can start with value added programs. So let's look at the first thing you have to look at is what programs are available. So you can go online and search for that information. Um, but once you're kind of looking at what programs are available. You also need to list out, you know, 
where might you already be getting discounts? Are your steers or your bulls not castrated yet? Do you have horns? Is there anything else that might be getting you discounts? You need to be aware of that first, because if you aren't, then that's not really going to even up with the, or you're not really going to see an increase in profit with the value added program, if that makes sense, because that discount is going to kind of make it all a wash or it could. And so that's the first thing is look at where you might already be getting discounts and make sure that you can try and reduce those or eliminate them if possible. And then you need to look at what you're already doing. It's as simple as what vaccine program, what mineral program, how are you running your cattle? What genetics do you have? Who do you buy from? How much information can you share about them? And from there, you're going to look at what programs are available. You might already fit into a program right away. And so maybe that's where you go, but you don't really want to necessarily look at taking your whole herd and trying to change it to fit a program right away. You need to kind of think about what you're already doing and what's going to be an easy entry and make sure that it's in line with what you want and what you're doing. And so other considerations to keep in mind that Elliot shared would be, what are you locking yourself into if you're going to be a part of a value added program? And, you know, you say you're not going to be doing any vaccinations, or maybe you're not going to be treating any six cat or if any calves that you treat with antibiotics are no longer going to be eligible in that program, whatever it may be, you need to know what you're locking yourself into when you do that. You also need to know what your future goals are, because like we mentioned earlier, it's going to be easier to look at what you're already doing on your operation and look at what programs are available as opposed to trying to completely change what you're doing to fit a new program. You need to look at what direction you want to go and what steps you need to take to get there. And then also look at where are these programs paying off? There might be a program that's paying off in one area of the country, but not yours. Or is there a program that's paying off in maybe a neighboring state or at a different sale barn? You need to do your research on that and try and figure out what is going to be the best option for you there. So those are just a few tips about the value added program side of things. So like just to recap all of that, make it simpler. That's that's what we're all about on this show. Try and make these changes simpler. And so write down, you know, all the information you have about your cattle, about how you're managing them. Go online, search for value added programs and the requir- and the requirements and see which ones you may already fit into or easily fit into. But do that knowing your goals. So make sure you know what direction you want to go and then do your research and see what's paying off. And so actually in the Ranch Mind call, Elliot shared some great information about where to find more of these, how to go online and find these programs, as well as what regions were paying off with different programs. And so that was, I really appreciated him sharing that information with the Ranch Mind members, but that is exclusive to Ranch Mind members. So once again, Thank you for listening to the show. I'd invite you to join us for the quarter four Ranch Mind series and to dive into cleaning up finances, strategic plans, alternative revenue streams, and financial planning. And if you're interested in listening to the recordings of either of these calls or any of the other calls, we've talked about reproduction, nutrition, grazing, other business management as well, then be sure to email me at casual cattle conversations at gmail.com or you could, or you can go to my website and you can contact me there that also goes straight to my email and uh, we'll figure out a way for you to get involved with the program but with that have a great day folks and that's a wrap on that one folks thank you for tuning in today and joining in on the conversation be sure to take this a step further and take the advice you learned and implement it on your operation If you want to have a conversation about it, head over to my social media and send me a DM by following at Cattle Convos and connecting with me there. Have a great day.